Hello and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, oh, I did it well this time. Yes, in the last episode, I showed you the um the self sorting storage system that I started working on. Um, well, some things have happened. You know, it didn't quite work. You know, things went in the wrong chests. Well, I've kind of fixed this now. Although in today's episode, we're going to make it work even better thanks to a wonderful suggestion. By a lovely, lovely commenter. Um, let's just dispose of that guy. And actually, we can. That's good. Thank you, Creeper, because now we can show it. Okay, so yeah, I built this little facade. Looks quite nice. It's very kind of. Um, hmm. I was going to say Roman, but it may be Greek. I'm thinking of. I don't know. Like the columns and stuff and the, the bushes. I quite like it. And on the inside, I've just stuck with the same thing of cobble and and smooth stone bricks haven't finished it quite as you can see but it's getting there it's getting there this bit i really like i love this viewable glass is that what it's called glass viewer um really nice stuff and i just put that under there um nice you can just walk over it see it doing its thing i like that um i've also changed this to work a little bit better it was a little bit too slow at sucking out of the chest so i added two more ender chests and made them or target gates so that everything gets sucked out you know fairly quickly now and to match that I've changed this from a transposer into a filter which can take the uh, take stacks at a time out of the chest instead of just individual um, entities which is good so yeah that's all working nice I uh, to, to fix the, the chest problem the way I did it which is a bit silly now looking back but the way I did it was this um, I just moved, I was going to have like a, a second room and this second room could be where all the crap goes that doesn't get sorted and I just put a really long tube line so that it would check those places first and that does seem to work, like all this stuff isn't stuff that can be sorted so it does work, it's just really ugly and stupid that it would have to come out this far I mean the road goes in between it as well didn't like that but Thank you to uh, Mr. Miyagi Squared. I think that is your. I think I got that right. Mr. Miyagi, you know, Karate Kid. Uh, uh, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Anyway, he's very kind, and he um, gave a bit of advice. Oh, where have all my well, they in that chest just then. I think they were just in that chest and I just ignored it. Wow. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. We need one of these. Uh, there's these special tubes that I did not even know existed in the game. Um, they are, to go along with pneumatic tubes, they're called restriction tubes. And they, they're they very clever, it seems. They kind of act as a really long pathway. But they just don't take up the space of a really long pathway. So, were they in here? Oh damn. I must have used them all to make this thinking about it. So let's just nab a piece of that. Um and if we put that in oh no, that in there with that, we should get a restriction tube. This is cool. So what this does is if you put this in a particular place, um for this place we'd have it probably um down there. Maybe here. Where would it be? Let's just put it here for the time being. Um, what this does is it makes the tube in front of it, or the tube that leads into it, so say if we're coming from this way down here, or up there into here, it makes it think as if this path is actually... Is it 500 or 5,000? I can't remember, maybe 500. But anyway, it makes it think, uh, think that it's a really long way away, this tube. So it makes it think, okay... Uh, let's check all this area first and then we go here if it doesn't fit anywhere else really cool so it just it just it makes this unnecessary because now we can put that right here and it will do the same thing because this is taking up the space of 500 blocks worth of tube so we're going to do that um, I'm not going to do that into this episode because I need to I need to work out how this is going to go because 
Oh, eating food is loud. Um, I'm going to have to open up this bit here. I'm going to have to move these metals chests, because that's metals, I think, uh, to have a pathway over here. I want this to be a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. And also, there's nowhere going in this side, which is annoying. I have to keep going all the way around. But anyway, thank you, Mr. Miyagi Squared, for that um, advice. That is going to be very useful. Very useful. But yeah, I quite like how this looks. I do like it. Um, but there's a there's a big big announcement that I've I want to make for this let's play, and that is <laughs> I really do hype these things up. It's not a big announcement at all. I've changed the mod pack slightly. Ooh, uh, what I've done is I got so sick of I want to use solar power. Okay, I really do. I want to try and use lots of different types of power, but but solar power in particular, although it is a little bit people people complain about it because they say. It's not very inventive, you know, you just place a block down and you get power from it. There's no, like, you don't have to make a massive tree farm to get that source of power. You don't need to make, you know, a spawner to get that source of power. All it is is a single block. And it just seems a little bit too OP. That may be the case. That may be the case. Oh, we should probably do that. Um, let's do that now. But... Um, Solar panels work well for this idea. Like my plan of having like a kind of little city, like a little town with lots of separate buildings, each needing their own power. Yeah, you, know, you can't wire up loads of ender tanks, and you can't wire up a massive cable underneath all of the houses because it's just it just won't work like that. So, in my case, solar panels are actually quite necessary because well, things need power and. They're an easy way to get power at an at a a place. You know, you just place down a block and it's there. You don't need any any other fancy special stuff. Hmm, I haven't got any iron. Damn it! I smelted it all. I haven't got any gold either. Is there a way to turn it back into the ore? I highly doubt it. Oh, there you go. You matter. Thank you. That and that. Alright, we'll use that now. There should be some in here. I could just go mine some. Hmm. Hmm. No, screw it. Let's use the U matter. Might as well use it for something. Haha. -ha. And. Haha. -ha. That's really expensive for only getting two. That is. No one. No one use that. That's rubbish. But we need to use it. So I should probably show you what I've actually done to change the mod pack to suit that, that solar panel um, necessity. And that is I've changed from compact solars to advanced solars. And that means we get things like the advanced solar panel, the hybrid solar panel, and the ultimate hybrid solar panel. We're going to start using these. Uh, now they're not, they're not cheap to make. Just point that out. They, they require a lot of iridium. And, you know, they're not just like, oh free energy really easily. No, you still need to put some effort in, but it, it does make certain things easier, like I just said about individual buildings and stuff. So let's put this under here. Let's see if that does anything, because I did say last time that that probably won't grow unless it has either gold or iron underneath it. So we'll see if that changes anymore. That's how it looks at the moment. I should probably hydrate it, but oh well, screw that. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build a solar panel. Um, and what I particularly want to use it on is the UU farm. Okay, because I know the blaze rods, it is, it's, it's an infinite source of power, the blaze rods. But it does cause a lot of, a lot of lag and a lot of noise. And I don't really like using it. It was a bit of an oversight, really. That it's just I don't really like using it. I want to turn it off as much as possible because of that, and because of all the, the I don't know how much lag it makes, but I'm sure it's more than necessary. And all of these generators and and the project managers, uh, project managers. I've been watching too much the uh, the Apprentice. Um, just managers. Um. So yeah, I'd rather change that into a single solar panel, and you can get this one is a bit of a beast. The ultimate hybrid solar panel. I think it outputs 500, 512 EU during the day per tick. That's a lot. That would be plenty for this 
UU farm. So that is what I want to do today. We've now got five stacks and twelve, which is quite a bit. We're going to take a... Well, we need a lot of iridium for that. A lot. Let's just take four stacks worth. Um, that should be enough, actually. I'm going to make most of it off screen because it is a lot of, you know, little bits and bobs that you need to do and it, it takes a while to do all this, but as you can see, it's just pretty much this thing. A radiant reinforced plate. This is a bit mean. It uses a diamond and just lots of stuff, really. Lots of stuff. Yeah, look at that. Iridium all. So I'm going to make one of these ultimate hybrid solar panels. And I'll be back and we'll hook it up to the UU Matter Farm. I'll see you in a bit. Oh boy. I think I was trying to be a little bit too ambitious there with the um, jumping straight into the ultimate hybrid solar panel. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. No. No, we do not. We probably could, but it would use up, you know, all of our UU Matter. Um, I have made... The hybrid one, the one before it, but oh my god, look, let's get somewhere relatively safe. Uh, up on this hill. But yeah, this one is fairly simple to make. Okay, it has two iridium plates on it, but, oh, but apart from that, fairly simple stuff. This one, the ultimate hybrid, it's like, yeah, these coal chunks are easy, it's just coal dust, really. But then, it's these things, these um, scenarium alloys. <sighs> eight iridium plates each. Eight. So that is eight times four. Iridium ore. That's eight diamonds. You need two of them. Oh. So that's 16 times four. So yeah, that is a lot. Wait. So... Uh, I suppose it isn't that much, really. 16 times 4 is, what, a stack? So that would use up a stack of UU matter to make that. Those two things. I could do that, but I haven't got enough diamonds anyway, so we're not going to do it just yet. We will stick with just the hybrid. Um, yeah, this is working out well, because we've only got five diamonds. Not enough, and I don't want to make any more from UU matter just yet. I want to see what this is like um, in terms of power consumption and and how much it gives out. I know it gives out 64 EU per tick. Um, but yeah, let's let's go let's go with this for a little bit. Let's just see what it does. Let's turn off this thing, please. Oh god, no, my ears. Oh. Oh god, no. I saw a creeper. Oh, that's scary. It starts jumping down. Oh. Um, I should have a bow somewhere. Do I have any arrows? I have one. This is not an infinity bow, I can tell you that. There you go. Yeah, you can get away from my iridium. Not iridium, my U matter. Just get away from there. Why is it as soon as I need to start working here, they, they sp... Oh, I hate you. I hate you. Go away. Thank you. That can be sorted. All this can be sorted. Um, I'm not sure if that's been... I don't think that's got home, but these do. Okay, cool. So... Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Should I just put it right next to it? I think I should. Let's get rid of that wire. And let's get rid of that wire. And let's see what it does. If I just plop it right here. It's going up. It is going up. That is a good sign. Now it's going down. Oh, it's going down a lot. I must be using it right now. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to work, to be honest. I don't know how it's going to keep up. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, with all this kind of stuff. I really don't. I don't think it's going to match that. Because this is, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven generators. Each of Blaze Rod, which gives out, what, 10 EU per tick. So that's 70 EU per tick. And this is, what did I say it was? Uh, 64. So it's actually quite close. It's a little bit less. 
a little bit less. But that that should keep up then, hypothetically, it should do. It should stay around that 5-7 mark, maybe? 5-6, five, 5-7? Five, hmm. Well, if it means I don't have to have that turned on, I'm very pleased. I could make more of these. These aren't too difficult to make. I can make quite a few of these, it's just this one. Oh, the jump, although I do believe they give out like 512 EU a tick, which is just ridiculous. That is so much. Um, let's put this UU matter back actually, just, just in case I lose it or something. But we did use up a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Yeah, that was it. Okay then, so there's that done. We, we have made our first proper solar panel. We can make more of those for our individual shops and buildings and things. Like, we'd probably make one for... Maybe that little building there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I think what we want to do for the rest of the episode is... I don't know. I should have thought about that, really. <laughs> um, what I do want to quickly do is show you that I have wired this up. I haven't made it look good, but it does does work. Um, so s stuff that can be cooked and macerated is sent to that other ender chest, which comes out here. And it spits off food and other such stuff that can only be smelted. Uh, it goes on the blue way, and things that can be pulverized and then smelted goes off the red way. So, yeah, uh, ores go off this way. Seen this bit before. And then food and whatnot goes off this way. And goes to that side and then goes back in the chest. Very good. Let's change that back. Very good. Very lovely. It works. I like it. Go ahead and get sent off. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to quickly check the time and we'll see what we can squeeze in for this episode. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we have about 10 minutes left, and I think it's about time we head back to the crossbreeding, have a quick look at how that's going, because um, we haven't forgot about Starmux, especially now with these solar panels, that is what we can use to power Starmux, and it's coffee-making machinery that it's going to have. Um, so, I, have this changed, has it changed yet? Maybe that's not what was right, I thought you had to put gold ore and iron ore underneath. Maybe I'm horribly wrong. Let's just... I've got some stuff back, like the hydration cell and fertilizer. Fertilizer. Let's give it some of that. Um, the rest of the stuff I don't particularly care about. It's only that one and the coffee plant. I want to get more coffee plants, though. So, do I whack it? Like, destroy it? Or do I just harvest it? I, I don't know. Let's just try it. Let's just do it. Hmm. Oh, that, that gave it some fertilizer. Uh, Go. That gave me some coffee beans. Cool. We want more than that, though. Let's let's just destroy it. See what happens. Oh, we only got one. Damn it. I wonder if it ever gives off two seed packets, so you can actually start reproducing. Let's see what these are. These are coffee seeds. Snoochy. Who's Snoochy? Tier. Ooh, tier seven. Um. Leaves ingredient. That's spelt wrong. Ingredient and beans. Oh, that's a very bad growth rate. <sighs> very bad. Hmm. Well, go back on there then. Give you some of that and some of that. I don't know how to um to get more of them. I suppose you just have to crossbreed more of them. But it seems like you there there must be a way to get m more. Like seeds would drop. Two or three seeds, not just one. There you go, that dropped, that dropped two. So, why doesn't the coffee beans do that as well? Maybe I've got coffee beans there. Can you, maybe you can plant them. Oh, I didn't think about that. They are, mind you, they're beans, not seeds. Let's try it. Let's get rid of you. Your crap. Oh, don't destroy the thing. So let's just, let's just see if this works. Oh, it does. Oh, that's how you do it then. Ah, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, we actually should have put those up there, but that's okay. These grow back really quickly. Sticky resin for days, I told you. And this can be sent straight off to go get turned into rubber. So that's how we do it. We need to get more seeds off it. Right, take some of that. 
Oh. Have some of that. Have it. Um, in that case, I didn't need to break those, which means I'm going to have to wait for them to regrow now. This thing, I do not know what's going on there. I do not know what's going on. But plans for the greenhouse are well underway. I've, I've done some creative world testing. Um, we can get these things. Oh, what is that? No, not that. Uh, crop matrons. Not difficult to make at all. Very, very cheap. And what they do is they control the amount of fertilizer to give out, how much hydration cells to give out, how much weed X to give out in case there are weeds. So we could do that to auto, um, auto grow our plants. I mean, really, we only want coffee beans. It would be nice to get ones like this. Um, is it f oh, Feru? Feru seeds, and there's another one, I can't remember what it's called. Aru or something. Oh, it might be that actually. No, that's carrot. Um, to get gold and silver, uh, or iron and gold, but that's not really important. It's the coffee beans we need. So if we could get a crop matron, or two, or maybe even three, like one there, one there, and one there, because they do quite a wide range. I think it's three by three from the block. So, like, uh, I have no blocks, but yeah, say if the torch is it, it'll be one, two, three, out three like that. Um, we could do that. They do require power though, but we could probably use some solar panels or even, I think the wiki suggested water mills because it, it requires a pathetically small amount. It's like one EU per tick to work. So yeah, we could just do that. I think that would work. We'd probably... I was going to say we'd probably want it closer to where we're going to have star marks, but we don't necessarily have to have that with the ender chests. No sorry, Bob. Actually, we could have an ender chest here that just sends them off to, to star marks. We should do that, really. Um, let's just give you more fertilizer, make you grow. Don't know what you're doing. Creepy noise. All right, then. So there's a little bit of... Uh, the crossbreeding back. That at least we figured out how to get more coffee beans and then coffee plants growing. So, what we do next time is I uh, have flattened the ground. Um, well, when I say next time, I don't mean next episode, but next time we come back to this, we'll had the ground all nice and flat, crop matrons ready to be put down, and the wonderful glass greenhouse we shall have with this lovely stuff, glass viewer, that as well. So that's the plan for the crossbreeding. At least we can get Starmux, the first stage of Starmux, up and running. I'll quickly show you just before we end the episode as well that we have got another quarry on the go. This one filled load. Um, the water is being very weird trying to get rid of it. I do not really want to go down there. But yeah, the water is being very odd. Come on, chunks. Hang on, let me just quickly do a, a fraps reset. Magic, isn't it? There we go. Well, it kind of worked. Uh, it worked for that bit we were looking at, not really the rest of the world. But we've got another one going here. It's actually got, wow, that's actually got quite deep already. It's going very fast, very fast. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this world is playing up all of a sudden. It won't load him. Stupid thing. I shall destroy you. You're already destroyed. But that's been going for a while now, as you can probably tell. Getting loads of stuff from that, which is good. All being self-smelted, self-sorted. We're a rich man, I tell you. Well, we will be soon. We need more diamonds to be properly rich. And more you matter as well. But we're getting there. Small steps. So yeah, I think next episode, we might try to go somewhere. Let's go somewhere. Let's go for a little bit of exploration next episode because um, we can get rid of some of these and replace it with mm -mm -mm. I can't spell it so never mind actually going there. The Twilight Forest. I think we're going to go there next episode. There's some cool stuff there to go explore and have a look at and fight. In many cases. Um... Mm, did half of that one. That's still underway. Okay then, so yeah, that's all I, that's all I, 
our goals and things to do. But yeah, I think next episode we're going to do a little bit of exploring. There. So until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.